Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II! Today, I'm going to try to get to Eggle Torch, so let's keep moving forward. And, uh, we want to head left this time. Yeah, the stairs are beyond that wall there. That's just an empty room, so you want to head down next. There's the stairs. And that path up to the left leads to another empty room, so we'll go to the right. We don't want to get that chest yet. I'm going to come back around to that eventually. Pass that up. And that room is not empty. There's a few treasure chests in there, so I want to get those. And just like the last treasure room, three chests, same formation, echo screen, antidote, and eye drop. Uh, eye drops would actually be useful here, but and antidotes for that matter, but um, I'd rather be practicing my heal spell, so let's get out of here and backtrack to that chest we passed up earlier. Now, the reason I backtracked here is because next I want to take the lower path to uh, where I'm going next. So, there's some new enemies in here. Uh, yeah, our HP is good. So, let's get them. Gold armor. But there's some new monsters inside. Oh, whew. fortunately, not too many of them. A lot of times, uh, you can run into like five of those mines. And they're just irritating to try to beat because they have very high physical defense. So, um, easiest way to beat them, use fire. And uh, same with uh, the other bomb-type enemies. Um, if you deal damage to them and you don't kill them, they will do mean things to you. Like, explode! And then you die. Yeah, just practice some Ethereum spells there. He's not going to be too useful anyway. There we go. Now, why you use fires to defuse bombs, I don't know. But that's the way it works in these games. And uh, that gold armor is a heavy piece of armor, so we don't want to use that. So now we just got to get the Eggle Torch. That's all that's left. Almost there. Okay, let's see. How did we do here? Uh, eh, spells didn't get quite to where I wanted them to be. Fire's almost at level 5. We'll be fine there. Okay, so I'm going to take some time to um, rearrange my stuff, heal up, and be right back. Okay, we're back and ready to fight the boss guarding the Eggle Torch, so let's do it. It's the Red Soul! Guarding the Eggle Torch for some reason. I don't know why. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about this boss. Um, the most important thing to know is that it absorbs all magic, even non-damaging magic. So, uh, the only way to defeat it is with physical attacks. So, yeah, I've got my equipment there. So, yeah, just have everyone attack there. Um, the problem is that it also has very high physical defense, as you can see. Um, not impossibly high, but high enough to where uh, depleting over 500 HP will take forever without a significant level grinding. The way I get around that is with the Ancient Sword. I mean, even at moderate levels, you should be able to hit him eventually and inflict curse on it within a couple rounds. So two, three rounds, you should be able to do it. Once you've done that, you'll be able to defeat it easily with your physical attacks. Alright, we got it. So yeah, now it even uh, weakens his spells a little bit, too. See, before it was dealing like 30, 40 damage. Now he's dealing less than 20. So, Although I'll probably want Furion to uh, cast Cure in the next round anyway. So, just to make sure of... Well, yeah, I don't think Gordon's going to die. See, now we're dealing like 40, 50 damage. Um, yeah, we'll be fine. I don't need to switch um, or cast Cure, but I do want to switch my Mithril Sword back on now that I've inflicted Curse on him. 
So yeah, that's really the easy way of dealing with the boss, because otherwise, you know, you'll you'll have to take forever uh, learning other uh, or well, ga grinding for levels on um, on your weapons there. So, but yeah, I mean, as for the Red Soul itself, as you can see, it's just casting level eight spells in your entire party over and over again, and. Uh, yeah, I guess I got a cast cure on everyone. Whatever. But yeah, I mean, um, fortunately, the Red Soul only has like 35 MP. So after the fourth spell, it'll just, um, well, it'll run out of MP. So um, then it'll move on to its physical attacks, which are relatively weak, especially once it's been cursed. So um, yeah, this will be its last spell, so Gordon um, won't have to worry about being killed by his spell in the next round, so I won't have to worry about healing him. And I really don't want to heal, because I want everyone to try to get some good HP gains out of this one. Okay, one more ought to do it. I think. Should be able to get it. But yeah, it's pretty easy from here now that we've inflicted curse on him. That's really the secret to beating this boss so easily. Yeah, trying to kill at 10 HP at a time. Not my idea of a good time. Yay! We got him. And you gain some H M HP, gain some HP, gain some HP, and yay, everyone gain some HP. All right. So I'm going to take a moment to uh, restore my HP in case I get into a random encounter before getting that Eggle Torch, and I will be right back. Okay, actually, I uh, changed my mind. I, uh, I actually just, uh, I want to save the rest of Furion's MP because, um, yeah, I'm going to have to cast Exit to get out of here. I'm going to want to cure him after that, so let's just get the Eggle Torch. Yay! So now we can destroy the warship, right? Not so fast. Let's cast Exit to get out of here. Heal him up so that I don't get killed. We gotta do something with the Eggle Torch, remember? We have to beat some monsters over the head with it who are interrupting my LP. Okay, now we have to go inside and light the torch. How do you do that? Just do this. Yay! So now the sun flame is gone, but we have it. So yeah, uh, there it is. So yeah, I'm just going to set that down there because I don't want it taking up my space up here. So, well, I didn't even have to use those others. So, let's see, that's about all I can do here. So let's get out of here. Uh-oh. Sid is being chased down by the warship. Oh, no. We better uh, head back to Poth. Now, normally I'd just flash back to Poft, but there is one thing I want to show you. Remember that guy who told you about that uh, Chocobo's Grove just south of Cashwan? Let's take a look. Let's see, how do we get a Chocobo? Where are you? Let's see, Cho there it is. What? Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, well, that was easy. Sorry, I was going to try and chase him around and entertain you guys, but uh, I caught him too quickly. Oh, well. So, uh, well, I caught a cho I caught the chocobo. What the hell? Well, actually, the way chocobos work in this game is you catch it, then you have to leave the chocobo's forest, and then hop on. Hope you don't get rudely interrupted. So there you are. And now it functions just like you know chocobos normally do in other Final Fantasy games. You uh, can't run into random encounters, and you can just uh, ride them all the way back to wherever you want to go. And this is about as far as uh, the Chocobo's theme goes in this game. Not too much to it. Let's see, what happened to Sid? Let's find out. Return to Altea. Okay, well, I guess I gotta get a ship. And no one else here will say anything. At least I don't. Okay, we're back, and uh, let's take a look and see what happened while we were gone. Yeah, I know. I know. The, the warship is going to mean the end of the world. I know. What happened to the princess? 
Empire Supply come north of Finn. Hmm. We ought to check that out. Destroy the warship. Save, save the princess. Uh-oh. The Empire captured the princess. We have to rescue her. Oh, okay. So now Sid and Hilda have been captured by them. Okay, well, we gotta go rescue the princess and Sid at the warship, so... And as the guy said, uh, it's probably north of Finn, because that's where they resupply them. So, I'm going to uh, do that next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.